Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Literverse. We are on the cusp of the literary award season as I film this. Tomorrow morning, the judges of the Scotiabank Giller Prize will announce their official long list, and I will dive headfirst into the 15 or so titles selected for 2012. For non-Canadians, or not-so-award-savvy viewers, the Giller Prize is the titan of literary awards here in Canada. This annual award celebrates the author of the best Canadian novel or short story collection written in English, and the winner of said prize receives $50,000 for their efforts. Also, there's a phenomenon known as the Giller Effect, whereby the winner of the Giller Prize can expect guaranteed sales of at least 70,000 units upon winning. And members of the shortlist will also see a significant spike in their book sales. This is serious business. But alas, I will be working from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow, so I won't know the long list results until I get home. Bah! So instead, I will offer my predictions for the 2012 Giller Prize long list, and I'll compare the actual results in the evening. I've selected 15 titles for this exercise. The last year's long list clocked in at 17 titles overall. So here they be. The Age of Hope by David Bergen. The World by Bill Gaston. The Tale Teller by Susan Glickman. Carnival by Rawi Hodge, The Dead Are More Visible by Stephen Heighton, Sleeping Funny by Miranda Hill, The Headmaster's Wager by Vincent Lamb, The Sweet Girl by Annabelle Lyon, Why Men Lie by Lyndon McIntyre, The Virgin Cure by Amy McKay, Inside by Alex Olin, The Imposter Bride by Nancy Riechler, The Juliet Stories by Carrie Snyder, Rue by Kim Tui, and The Magic of Sida by M.G. Visanji. I was also on the fence about Up and Down by Terry Fallis, and The Blondes by Emily Schultz. Terry Fallis is a solid can-lit name, and based on the success of The Sisters Brothers by Patrick DeWitt last year, I could see a humor-based book doing well on this year's list. Also, Emily Schultz's The Blondes has had a number of people buzzing for the last few weeks, so I wonder if the judges will be influenced there. And also, it looks like The Beggar's Opera by Peggy Blair will win the Reader's Choice Award this year, which means it won't be winning the Giller Prize. Sorry about that one. I can't wait to see how my guesses stack up. And now, on to a time lapse. <laughs> What? My predictions were so wrong! So, 13 books made it to the Giller Prize long list for 2012. And I guessed four books correctly. Four! Out of 13! The books I guessed correctly were Sweet Girl by Annabelle Lyon, Inside by Alex Olin, The Imposter Bride by Nancy Riechler, and Rue by Kim Tui. I'm really shocked by some of the oversights, actually. No David Bergen, no Rai Hodge, no Vincent Lamb, no Amy McKay, and no M.G. Visanji. As it stands, I can't wait to check out the books that made the 2012 Giller Prize long list. I'll put a link to the official Giller Prize website, where you can check out the official long list, and you can check out the over 140 books that were eligible for the Giller Prize this year. As for my reading list, it's on. Signing off. <laughs>